It's a good morning. I'm here at World Water Day on the water couch with uh, Gerard van der Top of Vitens. Could you tell me a little bit about the role of the private sector in water cooperation? I think the role of the private sector in water cooperation is actually increasing and has been increasing over the last few years. Uh, we have a strong role to play, of course, in creating markets for water, in managing markets for water, in making sure water utilities in the developing world become not just efficient but also pro-poor in what they do, not only thinking about uh, the economics of the water uh, sector but also about the social effects of the water sector and the social responsibilities of the water sector. As you know, 85% of water utilities in the world are publicly owned uh, and they have a huge challenge in terms of uh, dealing with growth in the cities of uh, the developing world. I think the private sector has something to offer in terms of enabling them to attract investment, to keep up with growth, uh, to attract infrastructure investment that they need to build new water connections and bring new water supply to cities. And I think we as the private sector have a, have a role there in, in bringing our knowledge, experience and sometimes also finance to make this happen. Can you give some of, uh, practical experience um, of uh, how Vitens is doing this in some countries? Well, like, I, I think one of the good examples is uh, our uh, cooperation with the Mozambican uh, water utility. It's called Vipag. And Vitens Avidus International has worked with them over the last uh, eight years or so. And we have attracted a huge amount of investment by enabling FIPAC to become a more efficient organization, uh, a more resource-oriented organization, a more uh, professional and communicating organization. And through that, uh, they have managed to convince multilateral donors to, to bring investment to Maputo. And right now, in the city of Maputo, there's hundreds of millions of dollars coming in to bring new water resources to the city and bring those water resources to the outskirts, uh, the growing outskirts of Maputo, where also many of the poor people are. So I think this is a good example of how a public-private partnership can bring benefits to both the existing infrastructure becoming more reliable and to new people getting connected to the water system of the city. Thank you so much for this interview. Thank you.